Season 2 Episode 1. Today's episode, Under a Shadow of Darkness. Uh, Rosie? What? What happened? I... I had a bad dream, Mommy. I dreamed Daddy came back and was chasing me with a knife. I'm so scared. Sweetie. Shh. He won't be coming back anytime soon. He got 30 years to life, remember? If he dares to touch a single hair on your head, I will kill him. I promise. Thanks, Mommy. I... I feel a lot better now. But can you sleep here for a night? Just to be safe? Okay. Just for tonight? All right, you have school tomorrow, sweetie. Better get some shut eye. I love you so much, sweetie. I promise to always be here for you. Lights out, maggots. I fucking hate them. It's all their damn fault. I'm stuck in this shed hole. Great. Larry the murderer snuck me the stuff. I'm not going to be here for 30 fucking years. I'm out of here. Man, I have to find somewhere to hide from the goddamn cops. Wait, I know, I'll hide in the abandoned warehouse. No one will find me there. I'll steal some new clothes tomorrow. Yes, I found it. Now I'll stay here for tonight. Tomorrow, I'll go to steal some clothes. This will be the perfect place for me to stay for a while. That's it. When I get out of here, Caillou and Boris are going to fucking get it. We have a code red. Code red. Prisoner is escaping. Oh shit. I have to hurry. I'm not going back. We got her. Hold it right there. Oh my god. Help! Come in. Officer down. Officer down. I'm making pancakes for your breakfast, kids. Yay. Thanks, Mommy. Guys, we have a huge problem. Look at the TV. I'm standing in front of the courthouse, Tom, with shocking news. Two convicted criminals, Anne Martin and Boris Kayla, escaped maximum security prison last night which left officers severely injured. He is fighting for his life in the hospital and the force is hard at work trying to find the two. If you see them call 911, they are armed and dangerous. Oh. Oh my god. He. He's on the loose. I'm coming for you. dream that daddy was chasing me with a knife. I'm finally out of this shed hole. When I get out of here, Caillou, Boris and everyone will pay. I'm standing in front of the courthouse Tom, with shocking news. Two convicted criminals, Anne Martin and Boris Kayla, escaped maximum security prison last night. Season 2 Episode 2. Today's episode, Miss Martin Returns. Now Daddy's on the loose. I'm so scared. I'm scared too. But if he tries to hurt any one of us, we should call 911. Anyways, you guys should get ready for school, and I'll call you guys when breakfast is ready. I'm so worried. I hope my children will be safe. I'd better call Doris' mom to see if she heard about the news. Hello? Hi, Elena. Have you heard the news? Yes. I heard. I'm so afraid. I hope your children don't get hurt. Me too. We should try to do something, just in case if he comes to one of our homes. Yeah, probably like keep security cameras in our houses. We should also be careful of Miss Martin too. 
I heard that she has throwing knives up her sleeves. Oh my god, I hope she doesn't return to the school or else probably Caillou, Dayu or Rosie would get killed. Hmm. I, I can't believe that woman was one of my best friends. This is bad. Now what we are going to do? Hi guys. Guess who's back? Oh my god! Guys, run! Dora, what do we do? Hey, wait for us! Oh, hello you four. What brings you guys into my office? We just saw Miss Martin in the hallway and she looked very scary. What's so funny? That's not Miss Martin. That's Miss Carson, your new teacher. Wait. Miss Carson? Yeah, don't worry. She's still in the slammer. But, 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 she's not. She's... That's it. I heard enough nonsense. Go back to class or you guys will get detention for three hours. Now go. Darn it. The principal didn't believe us. What should we do? I don't know. But we should avoid getting on her bad side. Especially when she has her knives. I heard that she's a master at throwing them. Okay, you little spoiled brats. Take out your motherfucking textbooks. I have an even better question. How did you get your job back? I thought you were supposed to be locked up for life. <laughs> well. Yes. My sexy baby is finally out of that shit hell. I got the stuff, sugar. You ready to become Ms. Carson? You better believe it, babe. Oh. Uh. Hello, I'm Vice Principal David. And you are? I'm Ms. Carson. I would like a job. Want to have a taste? Oh yeah, baby. Okay, you are now hired. Thanks for the extra spice, babe. Thanks, sweetheart. Awesome. Another chance to torture these spoiled brats. So you basically snuck in, used a disguise, seduced our vice principal, and got your job back? Yes. Isn't it awesome? Another chance to torture you guys? Anyways, let's get this motherfucking lesson over with. I guess we will be getting used to Ben torture for this year and probably our whole lives. Yeah, I hope daddy doesn't try to hurt us. Wow, there is so much clothes. I'm going to steal some clothes and get out of these shitty clothes. Yes. Now to get out of here. Aha. Uh -huh. Boris. We found you once again. Time to die. You're not taking me away. No oh 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 oh. Yes, he's dead. Now to get out of here, for real. Yay. I have escaped. Now, that everything's back to normal, time to find those little brats. They better watch themselves. Those brats will be mine. careful of Miss Martin too. I heard that she is well feared because of her throwing knives. Guess who's back? I guess we're going to have to deal with being tortured for the rest of the year, or even the rest of our lives. Those brats better watch themselves. They will be mine when I get my hands on them. Season 2, Episode 3.
the wildest party facing old heartbreak. <laughs> Hi kids. So, how do I look? Do you think it's good? Or should I put something else on? Mommy, you look like a princess. Yes. Yeah, Rosie's right. Aw. Thanks, guys. Well, time to drop you guys off at Dora's house. <coughs> Thanks so much for agreeing to babysit while Elena and I go to Jessica's wedding party. It's not true, the Doris. He got the money for the pizza, and if that son of a bitch shows up, he'll kill him. Well, time to go. Bye, sweetie. Doris, I love you so much. Will you marry me? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Yes, I will. Hey. <laughs> the tickles. Doris, are you okay? What? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine, Alana. Let's go. Oh my god. I can't wait to dance. Same here. Jessica is so lucky and Bruce is such a sweetheart. They are perfect for each other. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Dad, I'm glad to see an actual good wedding. Can you believe I had to marry two child abusers like two years ago? Hello. I'm Mark. What's your name? Oh. Uh, and my name is Doris. Nice to meet you. Want to dance? You seem a bit lonely. Yeah. I mean... Uh. Sure. Let's go. Thanks for asking me to dance. I had fun. Man. It's a bit chilly. Oh, don't worry here. Take it. Whoa. You're a cop? Oh, yeah. I'm a friend of Bruce. I'm not on duty, though. Hey, aren't you the wife of that guy? Boris, is it? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. No. No. It's okay. I guess. I'm just still upset about the whole thing. Crazy thing is that we dated back in high school and now, the bastard cheats on me with Miss Martin and I thought she was my best friend and now he's coming after my children. I can't stand it, Mark. I'm... I'm losing my mind. I'm so sorry. I didn't know how much trouble it has been for you. But let me tell you something. If that man cheats on a beautiful woman like you, he's way more dumber than I thought. I mean it. Don't worry, we'll catch him, I promise. Oh. Uh, thanks, Mark. I better go meet up with Elena. I guess I'll see you around. I think this is the start of a great friendship, and here's your jacket back, too. What were you doing over there? Um, mopping. Just talking to some random guy. Who? Got a new crush. Uh, no, no, no. Attention. It's time for the bride to throw the bot. Whoa. Um, well. Who? Looks like someone's getting married soon. Good. And it better be someone better than that bitch Boris. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, dare, S-H-E, I'm the only one that can have her, she's not good enough for anything. This little ugly O-L-D bitch, S-H-E and those bastards are gonna pay. I can't wait to dance. Oh, whoa, 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 How dare she? I'm the only one that could have her. She's not good enough for anyone. This ugly old bitch. She and those bastards are going to pay. Season 2, Episode 4. Today's episode, Miss Martin Finds Boris. I cannot believe this motherfucker. Thinking she can go marry someone. She can't escape from me. 
Hmm, maybe I should go to the bar. I've been losing my mind without wine anyway, and I better not see the motherfucking slut in that bar. Or else there's a reason why I have knives. Wait, let me put my hoodie up so the cops do not see my face. There, that's better. Yes, the bar, with wine, many hot girls, this is a life. Hello sir. What kind of drink would you like today? I would like a medium drink of syrup. Here you go sir. Yes, that feels good. Is there any more left? I'm so happy we got a chance to go here. You, what are you doing here? I was just going to ask the same thing. What matters is that we had unfinished business two years ago. Oh. You want to fight, don't you? Only if you're up to it. I can't wait to beat the shit out of you. Hello, is this the police? Two people are assaulting one another. Come to stop the nonsense quick. Oh fuck. We got to get out of here. Wait, wasn't that Boris? Yeah, that was him. We should follow him. Oh shit. It's the police. Boris, we found you. Get in the car right now. Now to get out of here. Ah. Uh. Home sweet home. So, this is where Boris is hiding. Do you think we should tell the police about this? Boris is going to continue to keep acting like a fucking piscopath if this continues. Yeah, let's go. This has to end. Now. Hey, what are you doing here? Hello? Is this the police? There are two people assaulting each other. Come stop this massacre quick. So this is where Boris is hiding. Do you think we should tell the police about this? Boris is going to keep acting like a fucking psychopath if this continues. Yes, we should. Let's go. This has to end. Now. Season 2 Episode 5. Today's episode. Miss Martin and Rosie confront one another. Are you going to stay here for the game, Rosie? Yes. I'll meet you guys at home. I guess I should be going home now. You? What are you doing here? I was looking all over for you. Now you're going to come with me and live with me, just like a mother and daughter should. You? You actually think you're my mom? That's not what you said when you gave me away. At least I'm not an ungrateful bastard. Shut up. <laughs> what? Uh, uh. Get back here, you son of a bitch. Oh. Sorry, Doris, I have to go. 
Goodbye, Doris. Goodbye, Zumzi Erica XDTGUI. Hope to hang out with you again soon. Rosie, why are you crying? Miss Martin found me and tried to take me away, so I ran all the way home. Yeah, that's right. I'm her mother. So give her to me or else you and those other two brats will die. Never! You were a terrible mother. You left her, abused her, and gave her away. Why does she deserve to be with you, Rosie? Go play upstairs. I don't want you to get hurt. If you don't back off of them, I will call the cops to send you back to jail again. Ha. Huh. Go on. I don't care. The cops are totally useless now. There's a reason why I have throwing knives. Get the fuck out of my life, you ginger STD-filled bitch. Get over here, you skank. Make me. Now get the fuck out of my house. Or else do you want me to kick your ass again? Fine. But next time, it won't be easy. I'll be back soon. And she better give me what I want. Or else. They'll regret this. You? You actually think you're my mom? That's not what you said when you gave me away. Get the fuck out of my life, you ginger STD-filled bitch. Get over here, you skank. Or else, they will regret this. Season 2, Episode 6. Today's episode, There You Returns. You motherfucking bitches. Damn it, Bayou. You're always late. You're going to miss breakfast. And after you finish, you're going to start working on the field. What? I don't want to work there again. We don't care. Now eat your damn breakfast or you'll face more discipline. Get to work you lazy ass bitch. I don't even know who would want an ugly piece of shit like you. I'm sick and tired of working here. I want to go and find my real parents. But first, I should sneak out of here, making sure no one sees me. Yay. I finally got out of here. HM, maybe I should try to find an airport. I don't know if my parents would like to live here. Wait a minute, I see an airport up ahead, to go Animate City. I'll take that one. Hello. What can I do for you? I want a plane ticket to go to Go Animate City. Okay. Your plane will arrive at 4 o'clock a.m. You can wait at the bench over there. Thank you, sir. Sig. I can't wait to get out of the city. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock a.m. Yeah. It's here. I better hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now taking off the Guanamut City. Ladies and gentlemen, we've now arrived at our destination. Please exit the plane. Wow! I can't believe I finally made it! Hey Dayu, we should go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Huh? Who are you? I'm Bayou, one of your brothers. Really? What happened to you? After we were born, we were all split up, especially Dayu. Dayu got a family and the others including me, got into an orphanage. Every day at 2 a.m., we had to work in an empty field, harvesting wheat and other plants. 
It was so tiring until I decided to escape and I eventually ended up here. Whoa, what an adventure. Bayou, want to live with us? Sure. I'll stay here. But is the psychopath gone? Oh, don't worry about him. He's long gone. Now it's just us, Mom, Gilbert and Rosie. Awesome, but I hope he doesn't try to hurt us. Me too. Let's go inside. And celebrate. Oh, whoa, 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 Damn it. He's found another one of those spoiled brats. Now there's more motherfuckers to take down. If I see another one of Caillou, I will strangle him. All of them. I would like a plane ticket to go Animate City, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now taking off to go Animate City. Buckle your seatbelts. But I hope he doesn't try to hurt us. Me too. Let's go inside. And celebrate. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. He's found another one of those spoiled brats. Now there's more motherfuckers to take down. If I see another one of Caillou, I will strangle him, all of them. Season 2 Episode 7, today's episode, A Policeman's Burden. <laughs> well Doris, I got to go. Nice talking to you too. Hey Officer Mark, we have a problem. I'm standing in front of the house on 467 Main Street, Tom, with more shocking news. One of our city's police women was killed by an unidentified person. Some of the city's people rumor that it was one of our convicted criminals, Boris. We now bring Go Animator 101 Animations 2016 Studios, who will speak of what happened. I was enjoying a nice stroll outside. Then I saw a man with a green hoodie and a black mask running out of the bar with several knives. It looked like it was Boris. Then the police officer came to arrest his sorry ass. But it was too late. He had already killed her and ran off. There you have it folks. The police officers will search for Boris and where he is staying. That's all for now. Back to you Tom. Hey mom, we found someone. Really? Who? Hi mom. I missed you so much. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my baby. Another one of you is finally home. I missed you so much. I. I missed you so much mommy. Boris. He really messed us all up. Huh? Yes, he sure did. I'm so tired. This has been a long day. I hope Boris doesn't continue to create chaos or else I will put an end to him. So, we made to the police station. Are you guys ready? You better believe it. I can't wait for Boris the bitch to get his ass kicked. Officer Mark Davis, come to the front desk. Now what happened? Hello Officer Davis. Here we have three people who know where Boris is hiding. Yeah. We even took pictures of it. Look. Isn't that the old abandoned house on 43 Forest Road? Yeah. We saw Boris coming in and out of that house. Then, let's locate the house and then we'll find him. We'll officially put an end to that bastard. Oh shit. They know where I am. I better try to find another shitty location. I don't give a fuck if the house is nice or not. I just care that they don't find my ass.
We know where Boris is. I got to get out of here. I'll never let those bastards find me. Season 2 Episode 8. Today's episode. The wedding that started it all. Oh man, he'll be here in like 5 minutes. So? Be honest. Is it okay? Oh my god, Doris. You are so freaking red. But seriously, you look fine. That's him now. Hey, Doris. Sorry I'm late. Something came up. Oh. I win. No problem. I'll say goodbye to the kids and we'll head out, okay? Hey, is this picture of you girls? What? Oh. Oh, that picture? Yeah. That's a salt back in high school. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Boris? Oh. Yeah, that's when they started dating back in 11th grade. They seemed like a great couple. <sighs> Who is the girl hugging her? The one with orange hair? What if I said that girl was Miss Martin? Elena. I know it sounds kind of invasive, but I want to know. How did Doris and Boris even meet? I know it's Doris's story, but not even she may want to talk about it. Well, pull up a chair, Mark. It's a long story. Well, let's see. Here's how it started, I guess. I was meeting up with Miguel. Isn't that your husband? Right. We dated back in 10th grade and stayed together all these years. Oh, a beautiful. What's going on, Elena? Nothing much, sweetie. I'm about to meet up with the girls. Cool. I'm about to head out. I'll meet you in the chapter and take us over. OMGN. You are freaking crazy. Maybe, but you know you love me. I'm always going to be here for you. I... I guess we just wish... it was true. What happened when you found them in the halls, Jessica? Oh. Oh, um. Hey, Doris. So, what? Uh, what's up? Oh. Hi, Boris. Nothing much. So I was wondering, are we still going out for pizza after your practice? Oh. Yeah, great. Meet you at 7. See you later, cutie. OMG, he was so blushing. OMG, OMG, OMG. I can't believe this. And he called you a cutie too. Oh. Um, hey. Yeah. You two will make a great couple. He must really love you. At least that's what we thought. It seemed like he couldn't get enough of her. They spent so much time together. She... She was his whole world. <laughs> they seemed... So... So in love. No one was surprised when they finished college he proposed. Doris. I love you so much. Will you marry me? Oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Whoa. For nearly a year, they seemed like the perfect couple. I just... I just don't fucking get it though. Why cheat on her? I mean, he was with her for years and he threw it away because of that whore? Yet. There was another reason too. Oh my god. Wait till he hears the news, honey. Honey. You'll never believe this. Oh, what is it? I'm pregnant. Oh, whoa, 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 Doris. I can't fucking believe this. 
You know I hate children. You better get rid of the brat. I'm done with this. It's either the brat goes, or I go. Hey Boris. Well someone is looking good right now. Oh. Oh my god. <coughs> Wanna get out of here? <sighs> Oh my god, what the fuck? Now push. I have no words. After Gaiu was born with his siblings, Boris told them all he was the only one to escape. Miss Martin got pregnant. And you know the rest. Doris cried for months. We. Oui. We never thought Miss Martin and Boris could be, so, so evil. Doris couldn't eat or sleep. She just cried and cried. Hey Mark. You ready to go? Uh. Sure. But there's something I want to do first. Hey! What happened guys? Rosie why are you and your brothers still up? Well, I always had nightmares. The boys are scared too. We are afraid if Boris or Miss Martin will try to kill us. Don't be. I promise you I and the other cops aren't going to give up. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Thanks for cheering me up, Dad. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just... I'm sorry, Mr. Mark. No, no. It's okay, sweetie. Tell you what. You can call me whatever you like. You guys can call me Mark if you want. But if you really want to, I guess you can call me dad too. Thanks, Mark. I know it sounds kind of invasive, but how did Boris and Doris even meet? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Honey, honey, guess what? I'm pregnant. Whoa, 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 Doris, I can't fucking believe this. You know I hate children. You better get rid of the brat. Season 2, Episode 9. Today's episode, Boris's Trek. Now you motherfuckers know your shitty times tables. Hey, Dayu and Leo. You two bitches stay awake or you have detention. And by you and Clementine, is that gum you are chewing? Um, yes ma'am. That's it. You two motherfuckers have detention. Get your asses to detention now. Anyways, it is now 2.30 p.m. Class dismissed. Get your asses out of here now. I can't believe she gave me detention. I know it's so stupid. She never cared about gum before. She's just doing this to mess with us. All I know is that mommy is going to be upset about the detention part. Yeah, I know. Well, it could be worse. Even if she does ground us when we do wrong, at least she doesn't hurt us like our so-called dad. Well, I guess I'll get this over with. I'll see you guys at home. Oh, Dayu, I'll meet you at the entrance. There's something I have to do. Oh, what is it? Hey, it. It's nothing. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. I want to ask Doran on a 
You know. Date, I knew it. You can do this. I'll meet you out in the front in a while. Good luck. Hey, Dora. Oh. Hi, Caillou. What's up? Um, I was thinking. Since this weekend is a three-day weekend because of Go Anime Day next Monday, do you want to go on a date? Maybe tomorrow night? Sure! How about we meet at my place at 7 o'clock? Perfect. I made reservations at the restaurant my mom and dad used to go to. The fancy one? I think it's called Loon Argenti. It gives Italian and French food. Awesome! And on Sunday or Monday we all can go to the beach. I'll bring pizza for all of our friends too. Well, see you there. Bye, Dora. Bye. I have a date. Oh my god. What do I even wear? What about my hair? What do I say? That's it. I think I'm going to need help. I'm still disappointed though. But tell you what. Because Miss Martin is already pushing it, I won't ground you for a week. But for the next three days, you'll be grounded. Okay, Mommy. Bright side. Least you aren't gonna kick my ass like Boris. Guess you're right. Hello? Mark? What's going on? What happened? Doris, I need you to listen to me carefully. Some people told us they knew where Boris was but he wasn't there when we made it. He's on the run again. Listen I don't want you or your kids to get hurt. Get to a friend's house. I'm sending a car to you. Be safe. Okay? Mark. Mark. I think I see him. Come on. I have to hurry. Let me put up my hood. Maybe then it'll help me hide. Ugh, I gotta lose these assholes. Oh, MG, I think that was Boris. Hey, get back here, you ass. Stop. In the name of the law. This is Officer Toby. We need backup. Now. Okay, the food is ready. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight, guys. Well, we'll head inside to serve the kiss. You? What the fuck are you doing there, you actually? Where is Doris? I know she is here. What the hell is wrong with you? I can't you just leave the balloni? You should talk, jackass. Get over here in um school. Miguel, no. Mark, police, help! We need a police car at four three eight West. Hurry! Help! Yay! And tomorrow, I'll help you with your makeup for your date, and so will Clementine and Sarah. Mommy. What? What's going on? Where's Daddy? It's Boris. He and your dad are fighting in the front. Sweetie, hide in the closet. Get the boys too. Doris and I are trying to stop him. Get back here. Sweetie. Yeah. This is Officer Toby. I need an ambulance. Now. That bastard. He's going to pay if you want to hurt someone. <laughs> Destroy what they love most of all. I can't believe she gave me detention. 
I'm still disappointed though. But tell you what, because Miss Martin is pushing it, I won't ground you for a week. But for the next three days, you will be grounded. Okay, mommy. Doris, I need you to listen to me carefully. Some people told us they knew where Boris is, but he wasn't there when we made it. He's on the run again. Listen, I don't want you or your kids to get hurt. Get to a friend's house. I'm sending a car to you. Be safe. Okay? Season 2, Episode 10. Today's episode. Dora's Amber Alert. I hope Dad will be okay. I don't want him to die. Yeah, me too. And probably Dad will try to come after us next. By the way, Clementine and Sarah are coming over to help you get ready for your date. That must be them. You wait here, I'll go get the door. Okay. I'll wait here. But I'm still nervous though. This is my first time going on a date, but how hard can it be? With support, this should be easy. I'm so happy for Dora. She finally got a date. Is she upstairs? Yes, but first, let me get her makeup kit. What? Where's Dora? Hey guys, I got the kit. What? Where did she go? That's what we were wondering. Huh? Maybe she might be in another room. Let's go find her. What? Where am I? Why am I here? Because I want to kill your motherfucking ass. Boris? What are you going to do to me? Your fucking father already got a piece of me. So I figured to torture your ass right here, right now. I don't need these fucking knives to do this. Come here. She's nowhere around the house. I'm worried about her. But wait, you don't think... Elena won't be happy about this. Hello, children. Why do you guys look worried? Dora is missing and we think she was kidnapped. Hello? Who is this? Hello. You're scared, aren't you? I've got your fucking daughter and I'm never letting her fucking ass go. But I will. If you give Miguel to me to finish his ass off, you choose. <laughs> Children, you can go play upstairs. I'm going to call the police. Hello? Mark? It's Elena. My daughter has been kidnapped. Please help find her. <laughs> Elena, who are you, sir? Aren't you a team still fine from the field? <sighs> well, you see. Dora, says Ben Kidnapper. He'll check the new if and John is also meeting. I'm standing on the street of Avenue B. Tom, with more shocking news. People have witnessed a man with a green hoodie kidnapping a girl, most likely our convicted criminal Boris. We now bring you three witnesses. Butterman 2001, Kanye McReynolds, and Ally K999. Well, we were coming out of a donut shop and we saw a green hoodie man running past us with a girl tied up screaming help. We hope the police will find that hoodie guy. Well, there you have it folks. Like before, if you've seen this criminal, call 911. Immediately. Don't worry Elena. They will find a guy to get her back from that fucking bitch. Iope. I'm still nervous though. This is my first time going on a date. But how hard can it be? With support, this should be easy. Hello. You're scared. Aren't you? 
I've got your fucking daughter. And I'm never letting her fucking ass go. But I will if you give me Miguel to finish his ass off. You choose. Says <laughs> Ben, you're not dead. Don't worry, Ben. The police will find a guy to get your back from that fucking bitch. Season 2, Episode 11. Today's episode The Quest. It's time to kill your fucking ass right here and right now. Oh shit. I have to get out of here. Oh my god. What happened to you Dora? We are going to have to take you to the hospital right away. I'll call an ambulance. Hello. I need an ambulance right away. A girl was tortured in a dungeon. Okay. We will meet you in the front. Oh Dora. I will call your parents to meet you in the hospital. Hello. Elena. I found your daughter. You need to come to the hospital. Immediately. Dora. Are you alright? Mommy. Daddy. Boris abused and tortured me. Miguel and Elena, I think you should go on a vacation to avoid any other conflict with my psychopathic ex-husband. Two of you almost died by his hands, and what if he tries to kill you Elena? Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't want him to destroy our family. We'll try to go out of the city for a while. But we will be back in two weeks. Would you like to help us back up? Sure. The plane leaving to Miami will depart in two minutes. Please board on fast if you have your ticket. Oh, I guess this is our plan. Well, it looks like we're going then. Goodbye Doris. Goodbye Caillou. Goodbye Dora. Dora. Oh shit. I ran out of money. Now how am I supposed to buy my cigarettes? Wait, I know, I'm going to rob the bank. Ha 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 ha. Wow. Look at all this money. Just enough for a year's supply of cigarettes and trips to the strip club. Oh shit. I better grab all the money and get out here quick. There. That's better. Now to get out of here. Wah, what happened here? Where did all the money go? The bank has been robbed. I'm standing in front of the bank Tom. With some even more shocking news. Last night, the bank has been robbed by our same convicted criminal, Boris. He was identified by one of the cameras, sneaking from room to room and stealing all the money before we could catch him. I now bring Mark to explain what happened once the police got there. Last night. The alarm went off as soon as Boris took one more step to all the money in the bank. Once we got there, he had escaped. We are putting up wanted photos all over town. If you see him, say something. This can't go any further. I will now be bringing three witnesses, who saw Boris come in and out of the bank, Gamer 77, Kitty Shan, and Tharmangal Fan 33456. Well, we were walking back home. After a long party. Around the same time we left the party, we saw Boris run past us and into the bank. The siren sounded and he ran out of there with all the money. There you have it folks. Like before, if you see him, call 911. Immediately. Damn it. Now there's shitty wanted posters of me everywhere. I've got to get somewhere safely. Psst. In here. Hello Boris. We heard about you on the news this morning. We want to ask you to be a part of our gang, 
Why should I join you fuckers in your stupid ass gang? Well, we are the number one gang at crimes and we were never, ever caught with our crimes. When you're with us, you're unstoppable and can get away with everything. You in? Really? Yeah. We will always be here for you Boris. Then yeah. I'm in. Perfect. Here's your gun for your protection. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. Are you watching this Doris? I become more powerful. Now no one can stop me. <laughs> can't stop me. <laughs> Season 2 Episode 12. Today's episode, Boris is stalking streak. Hey mommy, we finished breakfast. We're heading off to school. Hello everyone. I'm Miss Lauren Shelley, but you can call me Miss Shelley. Miss Carson is out for the rest of this week because she is sick, so why don't you all introduce yourselves to me? Our new substitute teacher was really nice. Yeah. She actually made school fun instead of hell like how Miss Martin did. I wish Miss Shelley was our teacher forever. Well come on guys. Let's go home. Back off Clementine. Leo is more interested in me. No he isn't. He likes me more than you. He just doesn't know it. I don't know what to do with you girls. See? Now look what you did. You creeped him out. No I didn't. You did. You just don't know it. Leo wants to be my boyfriend. Keep trying, but you will never take him away from me. I'm his main girl, you're just the side chick. Nice try. Leo always hung around me more than you. It's obvious he would want me more than a classic girl like you. So, Boris, ready to rob another bank? You bet Amorous. I got the weapons in case of any Damas cops come to try to get our asses. Awesome, those cops won't know what hit them. Caleb, are we there yet? Yeah. We had arrived. Who wants to go? I'll go in. Those damn cops won't stop me. But wait, I'll put on my hoodie before I go in. There. That's better. I'm going in guys. You're back. I thought something happened to you back there. You got the money? Yeah, I did. The alarm almost got me caught. Ready to head out? Yeah. Let's go before the police show up. My boys are getting so big. I need some new clothes for them. I'll head over to the clothing department to see if they have anything. Now that I'm here, I'll look around. Boris, that was an amazing job how you robbed that fucking bank without getting caught by those stupid ass police guys. Wow. Thanks. Wait, is that? Oh, uh, guys, I'll be right back. There's something I have to do. You guys can go to the club without me. I'll meet you there. Don't worry. Perfect. I got everything that I need. Now to get on the line. Are you kidding me? Fuck. 
This is going to take forever. Sheesh. This fucking line takes forever. I have to hurry. I don't want Boris to try to kill my children behind my back. Next. Man! That line took forever. Now to get home and make the kids dinner. You better watch yourself, Doris. You and your stupid ass kids will be mine. Boris. Ready to go rob some banks? You bet I am. Hello everyone. I'm Miss Lauren Shelley, but you guys can call me Miss Shelley. Miss Carson will be out for this week because she got sick. So why don't you all introduce yourselves? Man! That line took forever. Now to get home and serve the kids dinner. You better watch yourself, Doris. You and the Arsimals kids will be mine. Season 2 episode 13. Today's episode, Nothing is Hidden. This week has been great so far. I'll get ready in 5 minutes and then I'll head out. Wait, is that? Wait a minute, she looks like Miss Carson, the lady who I'm substituting for. I remember going into the office and seeing her there. Hello, Mr. Davis. What did you need me here for? Well, Ms. Carson here is sick and has no one to substitute for her while she's away. Would you like to take over Miss Shelley? Sure. I'd love to do it. Ms. Carson, hope you feel better soon. So this woman is Miss Martin. Her slutty ass should not even be here, abusing these poor children every single day and doesn't even give a fuck. I have to warn someone about this. Oh babe. I'm so happy that I finally got a break from those bitches. Why not we go to the bar for a celebration, and don't worry, I assure you that we aren't going to run into my asshole ex-boyfriend again. He's probably scared that I'm going to murder his ass. Man, I'm so excited to get even more high. Yeah. And if your second ex-wife shows up, you already know what to do. Me, Amaris, and Liam are going to stay in the car while Boris and Caleb get the drinks. So, Miss Martin, we meet once again. I'm glad you're here too. Now, without interruption, me and my boyfriend will terminate your ass. Yeah. I will terminate you. Boris, say your last words. Then why don't you die? Come on, Caleb. Get the drinks and we're getting the fuck out of here. No. This can't be happening. I... I can't believe my boyfriend is dead, but I will find that bitch Boris and I will kill him with my own hands. He will pay for this. That was an amazing move you did back at the bar. You really taught that bitch a lesson. By the way, I got the drinks. Great. Mission accomplished. Hey Caleb, I'm going to go out again in the morning. I'll leave you a text that time gone. Okay. I'm standing in the local bar Tom. With terrifying news. There has been a shooting incident last night. Unfortunately, the, the murderer got away before the police got here. As you see behind me, Mark and the gamer plays are investigating the crime scene for any evidence held back. I now call Go Animators 101 Animations 2016 Studios.
one of our witnesses, to explain the crime scene. As I was going home, I saw Boris and another man come in, armed with weapons. Boris and his friend saw Miss Martin and her boyfriend and started up a fight. As soon as her boyfriend charged, Boris pulled out his small ass gun and shot the man. And ran out with six bottles of wine. What a fucking psychopath he is. There you have it folks. And if you see Boris, well, you already know the drill. Oh my god. Why didn't Caillou tell me earlier that he wanted this? But I'll go get it. But I hope I don't run to my ex-husband, he's become insane. You? What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, excuse me, I was wanting to, you know, ask you if you wanted to come back with me. Never! You were a liar, cheater, and now, you're a murderer. You just don't get it, Doris. I want you back. Why else do you think I'm stalking you all day and all night? You! Now you've became a creeper. Get away from me. I don't want a murderer for a husband or a cheater, and lastly, stop stalking me. I don't want you anymore. Fine then, you might not say it now, but I know you'll come back to me, I know it. Aha. Uh -huh. Boris, I found you. Put your hands up. Now. Die, Mark. It's game over for you. Now to get out of here. Oh. It hurts so bad. Oh my god. Mark. We, we need to call an ambulance right away. Oh my god! This man has been shot. We need to take him to the hospital right away. HM, it looks like he lost a lot of blood, but we will try to recover him in the best ways you know. I hope I will be okay. I don't want my life to end like this. It can't be game over already. <laughs> So this woman is actually Miss Martin. Her slutty ass shouldn't be here, abusing these children almost every day and doesn't even give a fuck. I have to warn someone about this. I'm standing in the local bar Tom, with terrified news. Last night, someone was brutally shot and killed. Unfortunately, the murderer got away before the police got here. Stop stalking me. I don't want you anymore. Oh my god. Mark. We need to call an ambulance right away. Oh my god. This man has been shot. We need to take him to an ambulance right away. I hope I will be okay. I don't want my life to end like this. It can't be game over already. Season 2 episode 14. Today's episode. Truths are revealed. I hope Mark will be okay. Boris has gone nuts. Now that I've finished off Mark's ass. Now it's time for you fuckers to die. Hey! Get out of the house or I will call the police you monster. It's too late for that. Now time to finish you assholes off. For good. <gasps> I'm okay. Whoa. What a terrible nightmare. Mark, we have good news. Really? What is it? You're alive. But the bullet damaged your leg and your bones are fractured. So you'll have to be in the wheelchair for about two months. Oh well, guess it's better than nothing. Hey guys, I feel so high right now. Who wants to go on a drive? You bet. Don't forget the alcohol. Hey guys. Want to blow up the slutty bitch's house? Sure. I killed her fucking asshole boyfriend already. 
time to make her suffer some more. Here we are. Wish me luck. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. My house is on fire. I have to run, and I got my knives for protection in case if any damn police show up. That bitch deserves to lose her house. Let's go home guys. Oh shit. The police are coming. Run. That was close. Where's Boris? Freeze. You four under arrest. Get your butts in the police car right now. Die you sons of a bitch. Ah. Your gun doesn't work. Get in now. Damn it. We've been caught. These police have nothing to do in their motherfucking lives. We will be back. And you guys know it. I'm standing in front of the courthouse Tom, with very delightful news. Last night, we caught our number one dangerous gang. They set a fire to a person's house but were caught in the middle of the act of escaping for their lives. They are now being sentenced for five decades in prison, but even though we caught those four troublemakers, Boris and Anne Martin are still out there. Somewhere. So what did you call me here for, Mr. Davis? Don't act so absent-minded, you dirty slut. Or should I say also known as Miss Martin? What? Are you joking? I'm not Miss Martin. I never heard of that name before. Go and get your research right, you bitch. Miss, I would like you to take out your ID. You got to catch me first, you fucking assholes. Freeze. You're now under arrest. And oh look. Someone dropped their ID. And the sticker fell onto the... Get in the police car now. You're under arrest. Fuck. My boyfriend didn't hide myself properly. I'm not done. I will get my revenge. You? What the hell do you want from us? Well, excuse me. I was enjoying my own fucking business, but now that you're here, I might as well finish your asses off right here. Get the hell away from us. You are going to pay, you fat, ugly ass bastards. You are going to pay for putting me away. Come here. Run. Get back here, faggots. Ha! Huh. You've reached the dead end. Now time to finish your asses off. I'll see you in the afterlife. Dear Boris, after all this time, we found you. And your gun doesn't work anymore. How do you know you bitch? It's time to end your pathetic ass lives. What? What the hell? My gun doesn't work anymore. That right you ass. Now it's time to end this now. Get into the police car right now or we will shoot you ourselves. This is fucking bullshit. Let me go you fucking blonde. You haven't seen the last of me. Wow. We did it. Dad is finally arrested. Yeah. Let's go home and tell mom about this. I'm standing in front of the courthouse Tom, with delightful news. Last night, 
Our number one gang was caught setting a fire to a person's house and they are sentenced for five decades. Damn it. My boyfriend didn't hide myself properly. I'm not done. I will get my revenge. Freeze. After all this time, you are now under arrest, Boris. This is fucking bullshit. Let me go, you fucking blonde. You haven't seen the last of me. Season 2 Episode 15 The Final Episode It All Comes Crashing Down Hello? Oh, hello, Mark. What happened? Hey, Doris. I have some terrific news. We finally caught Boris and Anne Martin. Really? That's amazing. But now what will happen? In a week from now, we need you and your kids to come to court. We're going to finish this once and for all. Then, let's get this over with. Bye, Mark. What happened, Mommy? Kids, next week, we have to go to court. They're going to find out if Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of murdering police officers and abusing you guys. Oh no. Not again. I'm nervous too. What if Boris and Miss Martin try to escape in the future again? Me too. But like I said, let's get this over with. Well, now it's time. I'm super nervous. Me too. I don't want Dad to try to hurt us in there. Well, kids, let's go! There you fuckers are. Now it's time to take your asses down. You bitches will regret putting me away. This court is now in session. You may be sated. I will now call our first victim of crime. I call Butterman 2001 to the stand. Well, Boris is an evil bitch. He kidnaps a girl, tortures her, and killed a lot of police officers. He almost loves grounding everyone. It's so stupid. I say he's guilty. Boris is the worst man ever. He tortured the girl he kidnapped and he robbed many stores and banks. He also was part of the house and fire incident. As for Mrs. Martin, she tortured her class every chance she got. I say, they're both guilty. Boris stole from bars too. He came in every night and got his hands on most of the drinks in the club with his gang. Boris tried to kill me for some of my money. Luckily. The police got there and saved me while that monster ran away like a chicken. I witnessed Boris running away from a bank with all of the money. And driving away with his gang. What a fife he is. My ex-husband has gone completely crazy. He cheats on me with that ginger STD filled bitch. Abused my children two years ago. Now, he's killing police officers and involved in gangs. I say he's guilty. And like before, I want to divorce him completely. For many years, Daddy has abused me and sent me up a room with me badly beaten and no food to eat. Now, I'm haunted with dreams with Daddy trying to kill me. And before the police came last week, Daddy tried to get me, die you and bay you to live with him. When I tried to defend us, we were so scared when Dad held a weapon and ran. We were running until we hit a dead end. And he had his gun in his pocket and tried to kill us. As for Mrs. Martin, she abused us every chance she got as soon as she got back to the school. Until the police found out that she was hiding herself. I want this to end now, and I say, they both are guilty. I agree. That was awesome speech, Caillou. No, Caillou's speech was bullshit. See, all of your speeches were fucking lies. Those four bitches were just some peeps, not my fucking retarded ass gang. You fuckers think those police officers died because of me? No. Bullshit. They died because of the stupid ass wind. Really? How did you know that they died? If you didn't kill them, you wouldn't have known that they were killed. Yeah. Stefan has a point there. That just proves that you killed them yourself. All of you who say that I abused those motherfuckers are wrong as fuck. You see, I never laid my beautiful and sexy ass hands on those mutts. I'm on Boris' side even though he killed my boyfriend. Wait, so you were the one who killed that guy in the bar? Um, 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 um. Tell the truth. Now. Um, 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 yes I did kill the guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this proves that Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of crime. Boris stated that it was the wind who killed those police officers. 
But how could it be the wind? That's the most stupidest thing that I have ever heard. After hearing all of your speeches, it looks like Boris and Miss Martin are guilty of crime. So I pronounce them guilty of murder, robbery, and child abuse. This time, next week, these two monsters will be executed by fire. Any last words before I light this room on fire? Face my teeth. Face it. Way. <laughs> Time's up. Goodbye forever. Doris, I love you so much. I know, that Boris gave you a hard time. But I'm glad because I got to meet you. You are an amazing woman and I love your kids. Will you marry me? You're nothing like Boris and you're one of the sweetest men I know, and I'm glad for that. So, yes, I will. We're now gathered today to celebrate the love of a young couple. Do you, Mark, take Doris to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Doris, take Mark to be your lawfully wedded husband? I, I now do. officially pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is I can't wait. Life, bring it on I'm ready for you. Yes, this means you're sorry. You're standing